different story, different story, different story. There's one story of uh, uh, um, a young man that uh, was in love with a girl in a next door neighbor in town, like they were 20 miles apart. And um, um, they were born same place, same time, basically in the hospital. And uh, they tracked their lives down and uh, they both died the same moment in a head-on collision, oh going to God. see each other, going to see each other. Oh you know, I mean, there's stories like that. As the, wow. Over the years, I've compiled a lot of them because it's hard to believe the similarities in their lives and twins particularly, you know. So anyway, so capricious, satirical, uh, satirical obviously is from Saturn. And think about what kind of humor is satirical humor. It's poking fun at others. What is Saturn, Satan, the devil called? The accuser of our brethren. He who accused our brethren before God both day and night. The spirit of accusation is embodied in satirical humor. That's the way we make fun of people, with humor. So that's a very Capricornian thing. <laughs> Capricorns can be very biting with their humor. They can be very um, satirical. In their in their humor, okay. So anyway, so I'm right yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I got you pegged. Got you pegged. Yeah, I am in no box. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Uh, well, you know, you're the scapegoat. <laughs> we need one in the room. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. All right. All right. Okay. You are that. You are that. Uh, okay. Ralph Waldo and Emerson said, it. "Astrology is astronomy brought down to earth." And applied toward the affairs of men. It really is, too. It's amazing. Um, I like this one. Theodore Roosevelt. I always keep my weather, uh, what is that? My weather eye on the opposition of my seventh house, moon, to my first house, Mars. He, had a, he was born with a moon opposition, Mars, in his chart. So, what does that mean? What is moon and Mars opposition? It means there's a lot of emotional conflict. Moons, mother, emotions. It shows conflict with your mother, the moon, okay? Um, it uh, shows feelings hurt easy, okay? Mars hurts, okay? It injures and can hurt. So if it's afflicting your moon, it shows your feelings are hurt easy. It also can show a lot of, it can show injuries or scars or Mars in your life when you're a child. High fevers, things like that as a child. So the charts tell a lot, they really do. Um, Mars, Saturn, opposition, or square can be a hard aspect to deal with in a chart because uh, Mars rules, actually it rules the muscular system. Saturn rules the skeletal frame, your teeth, your bones, all the hardening of the parts of your body. That's Saturn's energy. So people that have that sometimes have accident proneness, okay? Or they have a lot of problems or pain in their joints or their, their bones, you know, arthritis, things like that. Anyway, so, Shakespeare, the stars above govern our conditions. I was born, sir, when the crab was ascending and all my affairs go backwards. That's kind of interesting. What's the crab? It's cancer. So, you know, you the neat thing about astrology is it enriches your understanding of not only yourself and the psychological meanings of the, of the heavens and their implication in your life, but it really, is, it enriches your understanding of literature, and there's so much literature with it in it. I mean, you'll, you, you'll see so many things you wouldn't have seen if you studied astrology. Isaac Newton, I've studied the matter, you sir have not, when he was asked about his, his, his belief in astrology. And that's how I look at it too. People that tell me they don't believe in astrology, I said it's fine. Um, you know, I don't necessarily think you should believe in astrology in light of what goes under that name today. Okay, horoscopes in the newspaper. Yeah. You know, it's a joke. And I find it incredible that somebody says they believe in astrology because they read their horoscope every day. You know, how in the heck can you buy into this from that? But if you've really looked at it and researched it and studied it, then the further you get into it, the more you realize that it's the root of all understanding of psychological knowledge. It really is. The stars in their heavens, Sing a music only. The, only we had ears. If we only had ears, help me out, guys. If we only had ears. Thank you. Somebody else take over, please. <laughs> okay, I'm still feeling that moon. So anyway, 
that's Pythagoras, five centuries before Christ. Um, you know, uh, how about Hippocrates too? Louis Pasteur, the, the controls of life are structured as forms and nuclear arrangements in relation with the motions of the universe. Louis Pasteur. I mean, these are great minds, you know. So, you know, it's like it's you know, as above, so below, as within, so without. It's how it works. The effects from the heavens. Hippocrates, the, the fish, a physician without the knowledge of astrology, has no right to call himself a physician. Here's the father of all medicine speaking. Okay, they take a Hippocratic oath today, even today, and he wrote it. Okay, so I like this one, Arthur Clarke. <laughs> That's so good. You know, it's the kind of way it is. And I'm a Sagittarius, so I like that one. Okay. 